So you've got a script, but you might need $10 million to make the movie, and you have no idea where you would start in raising that money? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. The first step is actually extremely simple. That's putting together a list of resources. No matter where you are in the world, you have resources that are available to you as a filmmaker. Resources can be literally as simple as having a wealthy relative, all the way to as complicated as filing a tax credit. Resources are your best friend when you start out in the film industry. Is there a grant? Is there some kind of, you know, local film collective? So once you know the resources that are available to you, you will understand what the most amount of money that you could possibly raise to make your film is going to be. And then you can determine whether or not you can actually make the movie that you have scripted or if you might need to make something else first. I know that's kind of hard to, to think about. Some of you might be so deep into 10 years of this one script and it's this huge sci-fi action movie with a thousand stunts in it. <laughs> and all these really wicked sequences, but your resources tell you that you only have $50,000. So you probably won't even get a stunt coordinator for that in order to do the stunts. So the thing is, is that you really need to know what's there available to you in order to determine whether or not you can actually go ahead and make the movie that you want to make. If your resources indicate that you can't make this giant sci-fi shoot 'em up action movie, well, then maybe you might want to start with like a small comedy. Or a a little, you know, family drama. Or maybe a horror film. A lot of those are made for a lot lesser budgets. The other thing is you need to be realistic about casting. How are you going to cast a movie with Tom Cruise if you only have resources of $50,000 and he's not, you know, your cousin's best friend? That's the thing, is if you don't know a celebrity, you will not be casting them in your movie because an agent is absolutely not going to respond to your email, along with a million other emails they get from a million other filmmakers who only have $50,000, when their fee, at minimum, is, is gonna be a million bucks. Ouch. <laughs> Break a leg. And you need to know the reality of your parameters because that is going to set you up for greater success. Oh, thanks man. Yeah. And the thing is, is if you look back at the greatest directors, the greatest producers, they all had to start somewhere. Starting on a smaller project isn't a bad thing. How much graver must our circumstances become? I'm just gonna give you an example because in 2017, I received a screenplay called The Curse of Audrey Earnshaw. The resources available to me were grants, tax credits, private investors, unfortunately producer reinvestment, we'll talk about that another time, and um, the tax credits were actually broken down into provincial and uh, federal. So um, we did end up getting a bit more money in terms of those. And then I knew that we could potentially get a sales agent attached ahead of time and a distributor. I took the screenplay and broke it down and uh, saw that it matched with the resources I had available to me in my small city and with my limited experience as a producer. So I had produced a number of things, but they were often pretty small, like, uh, you know, short documentaries or short uh, narrative films or, you know, I had done production services jobs. Yes, it was for a, a giant movie for Disney. So either way, I had not made a first feature film as a producer yet. I was very well aware that we could not make this movie for, for less than 1.5. However, we did get it for less than 1.5. We got there at 1.4. The whole point of this video is that once you have your resources listed and you know how much money 
you have to spend, and you match that against the screenplay that you have. You've set out on a journey to go and make it happen. I hope that uh, you guys can go out there, put together your resources, and make the best movie possible. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, I will be making more videos as we go along about financing, more specifically detailed videos. I think this was a good uh, first step for us to go, and then we'll go from there to the second step on the next video.